Hi, this is Katie. It is like 11.45 in the morning, but I just got out of bed. I did not sleep last night. <laughs> it just was not happening for me. I fell asleep. Here's what happened. I fell asleep at like 9.30, which is way too early for me. And then I woke up at like 12.30 and then I was just up. I was just awake. I think that at about 4, 4.30, I dozed off for 20 minutes and then I woke up again and then uh, like an hour later I dozed off for a couple minutes, woke up again. And then I think by the time it was like eight or so, maybe I fell back asleep like for a longer amount of time. But I think from between like four and eight, I was up for like more than half the time. I just kept like falling asleep for like 20 minutes, half hour, and then waking up, falling asleep, waking up. And I don't know why, I have no idea what happened. But uh, I know a lot of people are having issues sleeping and stuff during this time. I am not, my sleep has been like kind of just the same as it always is. And I do wake up a couple times when I sleep, but usually for, you know, five, 10 minutes, then I fall back asleep. This amount of being awake for most of the night is super not normal for me. So I have no idea what happened. So I just laid in bed for a little bit. And I mean, I will be fine. I'll be fine. I don't mean to be dramatic. I just, you know, just when you don't sleep well, it's just like your body's a little run down. I don't know how, uh, you know, like new parents do it. I don't know how, or like when you're in college and you just don't sleep for a whole night, it's like, how did, how did we ever do that? But anyway, so now it's a little bit later and I wanted to vlog today and just kind of hang out with you guys, take you throughout uh, my day. It's going to be a pretty typical day for me, which is work. I have a video that I need to edit today and there's a couple new things that I got that I want to show you, one in particular that I ordered online recently. But I want to go take a shower first because I'm sure taking a shower, having a big cup of water and uh, maybe having a little a little breakfast or something will probably help me feel better. So I'm gonna go take a shower. And today I think is a day that I'm gonna get dressed and put my makeup on and stuff. So I'm gonna do that and, uh, and talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, so today was one of those days that I wanted to put clothes on and put makeup on. So I have this cute little crop toppy thing. There's like a layer underneath, but this cute little crop top that I got at a boutique in Mount Pleasant, which is in Charleston. And then I have some Levi's. I think these are, I think these are 501s, I think, in like kind of like a faded black. I do have a bunch of work to do today and I probably have to go to the grocery store. I'm trying to think if I can make it until tomorrow. I don't know why I'm putting on SPF. <laughs> I'm not going outside. <laughs> so, you know what I'm curious about with you guys? Is anyone dating right now? Like, are any of you guys on dating apps? Are any of you guys, like, were, did you just start dating someone before all this happened? And like, like, how are you handling all that? Like, I'm so curious. Cause you guys know, what foundation do I want to wear? I think this Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I really like this one. You guys know, several months ago, I made a whole video about why I deleted my Bumble and stuff, and Bumble and Hinge. And I, to be honest, uh, re-downloaded them when all of this happened. Cause I, I felt like it would help me a little bit to like be able to talk to people during this time, to talk to more people, you know, than like the people I already know. And so I re-downloaded Bumble and I actually, um, talked to a couple people it obviously like nothing worked out or anything then i i stopped again about a month ago i haven't been back on it in um in the last month ish but i'm curious because i know that all those dating apps i think are like sending emails about like how to how to have like cool facetime calls and do all that kind of like social distance dating i think it's such an interesting oh no my hands have the there we go the spf on them so they're slippery this is the Ilia concealer that I am basically out of. It's, I mean, dating in general is such an interesting topic of like, how do you just choose someone? Like, how do you do that? It's always interesting to me, like dating in general, but especially now, like, has it been harder for you to, like if you are, you know, on Bumble or, or Tinder or anything, like, has it been harder for you to connect with people? Has it been easier? Because you're kind of forced to get to know each other more um, through like texting and, and calls and stuff. Like, I'm just curious. I think it's such an, such an interesting topic, like dating, dating right now. I feel like it has its pros and its cons, you know? But I mean, I'm just interested, like if any of you guys are, are dating, I feel like we're just like chatting. Like, are you, are you guys seeing anyone? I think some bronzer. I feel like putting bronzer on or blush, just something on my face to like add some depth to my face always makes me feel a little bit better. But today we're going bronzer. We're going nude sticks, Bondi Bay, 
a lot of it. So I look like I've been outside. <laughs> I wonder if there's gonna be like articles like I found love during this time. It's probably gonna be all like whole books about it, I'm sure. I always like to put bronzer on my nose, by the way. Um, I know some people just like contour out their nose, but I like to put bronzer on my nose because if you're getting sun, then you're getting sun on your nose. So when I edit my videos, just in case you guys are curious, I do one, I guess you could say like a rough cut at first and put all the clips together, um, cut out any of the unnecessary stuff, see how things fit together. And then depending on the, the type of video, depending how long it is, depending on the topic, sometimes I will have to go through it many times after that, like four or five times after that. But a lot of my videos, I only have to go through like one or two more times after that first cut. But so for right now, I took a bunch of footage yesterday and I want to do that first rough cut just to see if it's like good enough for a video. If not, I'm just gonna re-record it today because it's the video that I wanna post for Sunday and it is Thursday. But yeah, okay, I'll talk to you guys later. I can't speak when you're near me. All I feel is something way bigger than me. Okay, so I finished my makeup and I did that rough cut edit for Sunday's video and it does look good, so I don't think I'm gonna have to record it, which is good. It's one o'clock, I haven't eaten. I keep doing this the last like week or two, which I guess to be fair, is not a bad thing. It's almost like I'm accidentally intermittent, 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 inter, I'm accidentally fasting <laughs> for like a decent amount of time because I feel like most days over the last week or two, I haven't eaten until like one o'clock. And I usually stop eating, you know, around dinner time, whatever that means. So I feel like I've accidentally been fasting overnight, which is pretty cool. But I think I'm kind of at the point now where most of the food in my house is food that I don't really like or that I have extras of. Like I have like two extra mustards or in like an extra jar of peanut butter. But besides that, it's kind of the food, like the leftover food that I don't really love. So I have chicken nuggets, but they're the chicken nuggets that are not my favorite, but still edible, obviously. And then I have, um, what else is in my freezer? I have hot dogs and sausages. I hate those onion tater tots and I really don't like this either. Um, this Live G Free spinach, artichoke and kale little wrap thing. I've had the ham and cheese one of those and that was pretty good but I don't like that one. But I mean, this could be a meal. I could do chicken nuggets. I'm pretty sure I have a little bit of rice left. And then my fridge, I have cheese which that, Kind of hurts my stomach, but um, I have it. <laughs> and then I have some protein drinks and some hummus. And then, you know, a lot of condiments. <laughs> but I'm just so not in the mood to go to the grocery store that I might just kind of like eat what I have in here even if I'm not in the mood for it. Especially also, you guys know I'm moving in like two and a half weeks, so I need to kind of eat everything that I have anyway. And I need to be pretty strategic about the next time I go food shopping because I don't want to overbuy because I'm going to be leaving town in a couple weeks. So I might just like hot dogs can be one meal and I have chips, luckily. <laughs> luckily I have chips. Hot dogs can be one meal with some chips. I think I have some onions. I can even, oh, I think I have carrots too. I can do like, um, like cooked carrots I love. I hope they're not old. They might be. And then I have some rice. That's definitely enough for the day. I'll go food shopping tomorrow. <laughs> Just like, wow, don't want to. Slash, want to use up what I have. You know, the whole idea, we've talked about this, like wasting food is just so unnecessary. And I do it sometimes accidentally. And so I think it's something good to be extra aware of, like not wasting food. But so maybe I'll make some hot dogs. Oh, have you guys ever seen this, by the way? This dish towel that I have that says, I like you. Oh, it's hard to show it. It says, I like you, but I love Bozeman. Oh, it's like my favorite thing. This is like my favorite thing. You guys know how obsessed I am with Bozeman. I really hope that I get to go this summer, but I'm still not sure yet. Oh, I showed these on Instagram, but I don't think I've showed them on, uh, on YouTube. Do you wanna see a purchase that I am still questioning if I'm gonna keep or not? Hold on. Look at these little Muppet shoes. They, and they have rhinestones at the toe. Like, are you actually kidding me with these shoes? They are uh, Jeffrey Campbell. I got them at Nordstrom, or Nordstrom.com. They were on sale, and I just thought they were so cute. 
I think they're so cute. They're so fun, but I'm trying to figure out if I would actually wear them. Like, I, I don't know. Cause they're so cute though. And they are very comfortable. The fuzzy parts actually got crossover. And so they are pretty like sturdy and stable and comfortable, but I just don't know if I'd ever wear them. But they are fun. They are fun. I have one more thing. Well, technically two things. It's like a set that I recently bought. I think I received it in the mail yesterday and I'm obsessed with it, but I will show you guys that a little bit later. Um, also from Nordstrom, I think. Yeah. But okay. I'm going to, hmm, I guess I'm going to make hot dogs, I guess. Okay. So I found a little bit of a red onion left and then I found like a yellow squash that I hope is not old because I'm going to eat it. Um, it seemed okay, <laughs> but so I'm just sauteing those two up to have as a little side to my hot dog. Okay, so I defrosted the hot dogs and then I sliced them in half lengthwise and then put them like face down to get, I don't know, that's just how I like to heat up my hot dogs sometimes. Um, but they're all done, so I'm gonna eat. Lots of ketchup and mustard and some sauteed veggies. Do any of you guys eat hot dogs without the bun? Um, a lot of gluten-free buns that you can buy in the store are a little too bready for me. So I, when I'm making hamburgers and hot dogs and stuff at home, I rarely eat them with buns. Sometimes I do, but rarely. Just fork and knife. Um, and also, I have Doritos to add to the healthiness of my lunch. So spicy nacho, best ones. And these are gluten-free. Just to let you know, a lot of Doritos are gluten-free. A lot of food is gluten-free that people don't think would be. Like a lot of chips, a lot of candy, a lot of just random stuff is just naturally gluten-free. You wouldn't even think about it. All right, I'm gonna watch Dead to Me. I'm gonna sit on this couch and uh, eat my lunch. So I ate my lunch and I wanted to watch one more episode of Dead to Me. And then the maintenance guys came because my water filter on my fridge is broken. That's why in the last uh, few of my videos, if you've seen me drink water, it was bottled water, which is not great to use single use plastic, but I'm out of breath because I just <laughs> walked downstairs and came back up. Um, but uh, my water filter is broken, so they came in and fixed that, which was really, really good. But I got a package that I'm going to try to open with one hand from Sephora. And I'm very excited about this because... <laughs> there we go. Because I... And really, I think a lot of people are getting more into face masks. And I've been doing them a lot more frequently. And I have been, um, you know, taking care of my skin a little bit more, I think, lately. I have a couple, like, resurfacing masks that I like that I think I've shown you in a couple videos. And then I do want, like, a moisturizing mask. I have the Pacifica Overnight Wake Up Beautiful mask, which is a very moisturizing mask, but it's an overnight mask. I kind of want a moisturizing mask that is, like, a 10-minute, 20-minute regular type of mask that you put on and you wash off after like 10 or 20 minutes but i couldn't find one that i love so if you guys have a moisturizing hydrating mask let me know in the comments if you have a recommendation but i also wanted a purifying mask one that would kind of help with clogged pores and like congested pores and stuff and so i do have the charcoal mask from origins but I don't know how old it is and I don't want to put expired products on my face and I think I've had it for a very long time. So I wanted to get another one and this one that I purchased has great reviews. So I got the Caudalie Instant Detox Mask that is supposed to, yeah, cleanse out skin impurities, revealing tighter pores and a refreshed complexion. So I'm probably gonna try this tonight actually. Uh, my skin has been doing pretty well. I have been trying out a couple new skincare products, one of which I'm going to talk to you guys about on Monday or Sunday. I don't post on Mondays, on Sunday. And then the other ones, I think I'm gonna do like a morning routine and a nighttime routine soon. So then I can show you some of the skincare products that I use, but I feel like my skin has been pretty nice the last couple weeks, but I still wanted a mask like this. So. I'm excited to try it out. And Caudalie is a pretty like natural brand. You guys know that I use as natural as possible on my face, especially. Yeah, and this has like no parabens, phthalates, SLS. So yeah, I got this, yay. Okay, I'm gonna go watch one more episode of Dead to Me. Okay, bye. Hey guys, it's a little after seven and I just made dinner. And was this food that I was in the mood for necessarily? No, not really, but it's what I have in the house and I don't wanna waste the food that I have. And I'm gonna go food shopping tomorrow, so this is kind of like a, what I have in the house, what kind of meal can I make? So I had chicken nuggets, I had baked beans, which I was very, very glad to find, and then I had the rest of my um, onions and squash. So I'll show you really quickly what my dinner looks like. Okay, just a couple chicken nuggets, ketchup and mustard, obviously, some baked beans, 
and onions and squash. And that's my little dinner. I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna keep working. And, oh, I still have to show you that, um, that outfit that I just got yesterday and I'm really excited about. I'll show you that after I eat. Hello, hello. So I had my dinner, it was not great. It was definitely not great, but I'm just kind of eating what I have in the house because um, I don't want to waste food, but I am going to go grocery shopping tomorrow to get some more stuff for the next few weeks while I'm still in this apartment because I do leave early June. I'm basically finished with work. It's about nine o'clock, so I'm going to watch some more Dead to Me and then go to sleep, but I wanted to show you. This is like my favorite purchase probably in the last several months. Hold on. Okay, is that lighting okay? All right, so I just got this new pajama set. Look how freaking cute this is. I think it's the brand Splendid. I got it at Nordstrom, so it was not the cheapest thing in the world, but this is honestly one of my favorite things that I've ever bought in my life. Look how cute. Look how cute, I love it so much. So I just wanted to show you guys. Just like one new, one new thing that I bought myself. A cute little like navy and white striped. Uh, it's a separate like top and bottom buttoned. So cute, so cute. And I got a medium for reference. The bottoms fit perfectly, the top's a little bit big, but I'd prefer that rather than having the bottoms be a little bit too small and the top fit, you know what I mean? So I love this so much. So I just wanted to show you. So I'm gonna go watch some TV and go to sleep. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and for watching this video. Please make sure that you're subscribed here if you're not already and go follow me on Instagram as well if you want more like daily updates and I do stories a lot over there as well. And yeah, I guess that's gonna be it. Thanks again for watching and I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. I love you, Jesus loves you and I'll talk to you later. Bye.